oh, how do I do this? Okay, I'm just gonna start talking and I'll probably find my rhythm as we go. Um, this video is gonna start off on a very personal note. Of course, I'm gonna go skateboarding. That's what I do. But before all that, uh, we have a very, very special announcement. One that I never thought I would have. Just we're kidding. moving to Korea? Yeah, we're moving again. No, we're not. We're actually, uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. Who knows? We are with child, aka Sarah is with child. She's pregnant. She's been pregnant for almost half of her entire pregnancy so far. Yes, that is man speak for saying she is 20 weeks along. 20 weeks along. And we've been keeping it a secret, which has been for very, so long. very difficult. We've told family and friends, we've been sharing it here and there. But yeah, we've been keeping it kind of close to the chest because we're afraid it's just going to go out and, and the internet's going to know. But it's true. She is with child. You can only be a dad now. <laughs> I'm going to literally be a dad, which is the wildest idea to me. Um, but yeah, I wanted to share that with you because I've shared a lot of my personal journey up until recently, but yeah, this is this has been a big part of my life. So obviously before we had been, you know, talking about it, we were somewhat ready, but it was still a little bit of a surprise. So I remember we were out playing tennis about a tennis court and a few things happened where I was just, I was so tired. I got sick while eating dinner and literally in the car on our way home, you said something about like, okay, Maybe we can like start or whatever. We, we had mentioned children. Yeah. And literally at that point, we even had, I'm just going to be honest, we've mentioned on her channel, we had a little pregnancy scare thing in New York City. Yeah. No, it wasn't, it wasn't a, scare. a scare when we've been together for years. It was exciting, but, but we yeah, fully yeah. thought that she was pregnant in New York for maybe two hours. So we got a false pregnancy or a false positive pregnancy. 99% chance of accuracy. It was inaccurate yeah. on the wrong <laughs> side. Yeah. So we thought she was gonna have a kid. We told her family, it was this big deal, It whatever. But since then we have been talking about timing and when are, when are we gonna be ready? And so basically the the night that you were like, the I night I was like, like I'm ready. I was literally like, yeah, I think I think we could do this. I think Cause I've been ready, yeah, but yeah. I was waiting for Johnny. Let's start the, the child journey. Yeah, that was the night where she found out. Literally 10 minutes after walking through the door, I was like, I sh I'm just gonna take a pregnancy test, and he wasn't. He wasn't even in there. I didn't even tell him. She didn't tell me. Yeah. I didn't even tell him. I was just like, I'm just just in case. It was so quick. It just said pregnant, and I was like, she, Yeah, her the way she walked out, she literally she looked at me and she was like, I'm pregnant, and I was like, because like in New York, I showed you, I showed you the thing. Yeah, you're no, you yeah, but I think you said I'm pregnant. Okay. Like yeah. that, you're like. <laughs> As a matter of, uh, yeah. Because I think after the New York thing too, it was just like, we had already kind of gone through the initial like, holy crap, we're pregnant. And then we weren't. So I was kind of, the second time I was really ready for it. And yeah, I wasn't I near as concerned with the first words that came out of my mouth after being told that, right. which I think was just like, awesome. Sweet. Let's, let's start the journey. This is awesome. So let's do it. Yeah. Right, so what type, and I think we can tell, we should tell, should we tell it's a girl? Oh, it's a girl. Okay, yeah. it's we're having, a, we're having girl. a daughter, yeah. Leading up to finding out the gender, I feel like you were still a little nervous or whatever, but it's almost like the moment we found out it was a girl, I don't know if you felt this, but I felt like for some reason you became way more confident and like way more kind of like at peace with it. At least that's what I noticed. I'm always better knowing what's about to happen. Like I am not good at sitting in mystery. I hate surprises. I hate anything like that. So knowing I was just like, all right, cool. We know exactly sort of how to tackle it yeah. moving forward. But it was just like, also people wanted to know. And when we told our family, like- our, That was fun. Yeah, both we, we got to tell our entire family at the same time via Zoom. Everyone was super thrilled. Both our moms cried when they found out we were pregnant. And both our moms, I think, cried a little bit when we found out it was a girl. Like they've been very, we've been all very emotionally connected. It's been a very good bonding experience for the entire squadron of our families. So yeah, my priorities have been shifting a little bit. I mean, it's probably pretty obvious in my videos, but you know, I, I'm still the very active person and I feel like even more now, that's why I've been more into my, uh, physique taking care of myself and actually skating is a part of that and everything that i've been doing physically has been a part of just like oh i i think that i should utilize all my time and do all the things i love as much as i possibly can because that's the message i would probably deliver to that oh that's the message i would deliver to our daughter yes so you're not gonna fully give in to dad body yet 
I don't. I don't think I ever. I think I'll always just be getting more fit. More I want to be. I want to be sixty years old, the most Chad old guy at the gym. Okay, That's but the goal. question is, are you going to teach baby girl to skate? I'll teach her. <laughs> I feel like you have to. Yeah, I, I want to. Man, I don't know. I have so many ups and downs with the skate world. Um, She's definitely going to go to skate. She's going to learn all of it. She's gonna, yeah. We're going to probably. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, if you do, if you do want to see more, I guess the personal aspect, you know, this channel will probably just remain skateboarding. You can follow me on Instagram, John Hill. I post in my story all the time about my more personal matters and yeah, it's going to be fun. This is a big adventure and, uh, yeah. Thanks for being interested. If you are, if not more skating. Some of these people might've been here for the first day we ever met. True. That's still wild. They Literally didn't... seven years ago, we both made vlogs of our first day. And now we're having a child together, babe. As much as I criticize YouTube, we have built a very, very beautiful life yeah. with beautiful results. Yeah. And social media is sort of the thing for a lot of that. So He emailed me from watching a YouTube video. Yeah. So thanks, YouTube. I guess for that. Yeah. Hilarious. Because I don't check my emails. Exactly. It was so, fate. It was fate. Yeah. All right. I think it's just kind of skating and I'm in the video there. Welcome to a bright, beautiful day at Richie Valens Skate Park. I am going to wear a hat because my skin is frying out here, but I have one main objective. I just want to practice switch back tails on this ledge. I just watched that contest that happened on the 15 stair. I got so inspired and there's so many tricks that I want to get dialed the same way that some of those people have dialed. Clearly I'm not jumping on 15 stairs, but at least having a consistent switch back tail and maybe some variations of it on this flat ledge would make me happy. I'm not particularly warmed up, but I'm still pretty sore from yesterday's session and jumping around to the trampoline park, but I think I'm ready to start getting into the switchback tails. I'm probably gonna start short, they're gonna get longer and longer, and then ideally I'll get comfortable and warmed up enough to do some kind of variations. I remember that from last time, I hated it too, but it is bad. I've noticed that trying to learn tricks on ledges like this is counterintuitive. Like it actually doesn't help in the long run. It's better just to try it on a ledge that works better. So we're probably gonna have to find a different skate park for this. But since we're already here, maybe we'll find something else to skate because I'm still feeling it. The only problem is the stage area, which is the main part of the skate park, is occupied by people. That's kind of the worst part about this park. There's just kind of people who sit around and like take up the area that people skate because it kind of looks like a place where you would just hang out. So we'll try it, try to figure it out. Both the fakie 180s 
I might continue it, try to do a couple like simple rotations, maybe Nolly 180. The run-up is like not good right now and it's really windy. So I probably mentioned this before, but one of my goals this year is to just try to have like a really good montage of physical feats, skateboarding, parkour, etc. And I feel like if I want to do simpler flip tricks like front side flip, back side flip, etc., this nine stair is kind of perfect for that. I feel like it's just the perfect size for like I can still do the tricks down slightly bigger stuff, but it's not like crazy big and it won't like destroy me completely. But because of the wind and the factors like the water on the run up and you know, the other stuff going on, uh, I feel like right now I can just sort of like get my legs a little bit stronger by jumping down this gap next to it. And then we'll come back eventually and just like, hopefully get some good tricks down the night. pretty good I'm a little off with my board right now there's a little bit of a disconnect I can tell my feet feel a little slippery so trying like something that's hard and scary today's probably not the day plus this is my day off like yesterday was so heavy and today I was supposed to completely chill so this has been like I got to stop now before I get ahead of myself because I want tomorrow I want to have a ton of energy because I have a lot of ideas of things I want to try to do so let's call the session there Thanks for watching, I'll see you tomorrow. Wanted to chime in one more time and just say that I am so stoked that this has happened. My wife is in Thanksgiving, right? In Texas doing Thanksgiving right now with her family, my brother's here. And I, at the beginning when we filmed that talking bit, it was kind of like she had one night to film and then she had to rush off and it was, it was chaotic. So I felt like I didn't really get to show how I really, really feel, um, which is so incredibly thankful that this happened. We got very, very lucky. You know, the second that we wanted a child, the child happened. And a lot of people don't have that kind of fortunate circumstances. And I feel very blessed very often for how Sarah and my life have been so far and how each of us, just our journey leading up to the point to being together and having a child together. It's, you know, it's to me, it's something out of a fairy tale sometimes. And I, I just, I'm very thankful for the life we get to live. And I think because I'm always moving, 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 you know, that's part of the reason that we get to achieve and do these cool things but I very rarely stop and I go, holy crap, this is such, such a beautiful blessing. And life has been, a, it's been a great adventure so far and hopefully it will be more of an adventure. And I know that it's just gonna get more and more and more uh, hectic, obviously with the child, but I can't wait to see our kid. It's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful experience. And there's no human in the planet that I think, that I can possibly think of that would be a better fit for me in this journey. So Sarah, if you're watching this, I absolutely love you uh, more than anything. And I, I'm excited to share this life with you. And for anyone else out there watching this video, thank you for tuning in. And if you wanna see more of our lives and as we're moving forward, I'll try to be more transparent in the videos and the vlogs because I feel like, you know, I want my parents to be able to see what I'm up to. I think that's a beautiful thing. So thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. And yeah, let's start this journey. Take care, progress daily and keep killing it.